Right. Uh, welcome, you guys. Welcome to my channel. It's Chintak Explains. And now I'm going to uh, do some uh, chemistry videos. These are for the beginners of the chemistry. It means if you are new to the chemistry, this is how you need to uh, do things. So how you need to study the things with the chemistry. The thing is, uh, chemistry is a huge uh, subject. You know, there are lots of branches like inorganic, organic, organometallic, analytical, physical chemistry, quantum chemistry, lots of things are there, lots of things are out there. But the thing is, uh, we know, um, other than any other subject, we have the periodic table. Okay? And also, uh, if you know something about chemistry, you know, uh, we have some uh, other tables too. Actually, electronegativity is uh, one sort of thing. And also, there are some shapes of the molecules and lots of things are there. But the thing is, uh, to do chemistry well, you need to know some basic stuff. You need to know some basic things. The electronegativity is uh, one of the major thing. Uh, the thing is just, uh, you might know fluorine is the one who with the highest electronegativity, the number is four. The electronegativity number is four. Okay. For the fluorine, it's four. If you don't know about this four, or just imagine hydrogen, it's 2.1. You might... Uh, recognize i know this i i know some values i know some values actually those things i just remember the things i am learning chemistry and i'm also i teach chemistry uh, for the uh, students right so that's why uh, these things are very important okay now i uh, just uh, try to right okay the thing is you might know uh, to draw HCl molecule, but uh, we are putting delta minus and delta plus marks for this. And for the chlorine, okay, if, if you might know, uh, if I ask what is the oxidation number of chlorine, you need to know it's minus one. And for the hydrogen, it's plus one. But hydrogen itself, there's also oxidation number, it's zero. Right, HCl itself, the oxidation number is zero. See, in HCl, oxidation number of Cl is minus one, hydrogen is plus one. How I know these values? How I'm getting these values? It's all about the, it's because of electronegativity. The thing is, the higher electronegativity, uh, we are saying, you know, this is a bond, the chemical bond, we can say it's covalent bond actually. Yes, but for the beginners, actually, you need to know about what is the covalent bond. Actually, it's another part I will discuss someday. But somehow, my main idea is to know in the electronegativity. This is the thing. Now, I'm trying to say you, trying to focus your mind, the things you need to know about electrochemistry, electronegativity. The thing is, if you know electronegativity better, it means you can do more things. You can find out... Uh, quickly what are the oxidation number what about the polarity lots of things are there lie with the uh, this uh, electronegativity this is the one uh, you know the February 28th is the birthday the uh, Linus Pauling is the one who introduced this method he also introduced some parts of the covalent bond polar covalent uh, ionic bond I will discuss someday not today, those things. But this is the one who is the one, one of the greatest scientists who discovered those things about the electronegativity. Yes, I think, yes. I think now you can see some sort of uh, old fashioned uh, one from here. Uh, the thing is, you need to know these values, okay? Here are some tips. I will give you some tips to remember these values also, right? Okay, you might see uh this is our second period you might know see the values the fluorine the oxidation the electronegativity is number four actually there is no any unit guys huh? there is no any unit just a number and for the oxygen it is it's through uh, 3.5 and for the nitrogen it's 3.0 and carbon it's 2.5 see and for the boron boron 2 and beryllium Again, 1.5, not again, actually, yeah, 1.5 and lithium-1. See, this is our second period, period, and all the values is starting from 4 and what happened, actually? 
when you go just uh, to the uh, your left sides ne? to the your left sides always minus just 0.5 minus just 0.5 if you need if you know the number is 4 is the highest one for the fluorine i already mentioned that one for the first period you can just remember by minus 1 minus 1 again like that right so i think uh, you are familiar with the second period and the hydrogen the value is 2.1 you need to know that one by heart okay and what about the the thing is actually you no need to know all the things you no need to know about the all the things okay you know these are the elements uh, which belongs to the d block so you know d blocks are metals so usually you can see here always the downwards the period the downward the groups huh? these are the groups downward the groups what happened to the electronegativity value it's slightly increasing electronegativity value slightly increasing and also when you go uh, left side to right side with the period what happened electronegativity value is slightly increasing it's a some sort of thing but for the second period and hydrogen you need to know the values if you know the values exact value is better and you know these are the halides halides the remembering uh, halide things are also important uh, i think you can just come here fluorine is the four the number is four electronegativity value for the chlorine it's three you just see it remove just reduce one reduce one and then bromine and chlorine slightly same 2.8 actually in here we can see uh, for the downwards here it's slightly different three and bromine uh, 2.1 and iodine uh, 2.5 likewise so and downward the groups you will see the value is decreasing slightly decreasing uh, yes slightly decreasing uh, not increasing slightly decreasing you can see the values but uh, with the periods the left to right the values are slightly increasing for the second period is the one very important very crucial one for you to remember i already uh, mentioned you some uh, thing some uh, tricky part to remember in the values so uh, just try to remember these values it will guide you to um, know more things about it um, when you need to decide the oxidation number you might uh, not good with the oxidation number you might have some problem how to uh, people are saying the oxidation numbers this one is this like just imagine uh, what about the oxygen h2o just imagine if someone asks you what is the overall actually overall we cannot see you know we just write down h2o like this we are not indicating any of the uh, cation or anionic mark. We are not going to any put any plus or minus. It's just H2O. It's a molecule. It's not an ion. You know, ion mean we are putting some signs plus or minus plus two or something here. Like sulfate, you might remember is we are putting SO4 two minus. So this is an ion, not molecule. This is a molecule. All the molecules. The electronegativity is zero, but uh, okay within itself, I can see what I'm asking. What about the electronegativity of uh, sorry oxidation number of oxygen here? So you need to know oxygen three point five electronegativity is three point two point one and two point one. So the higher electronegativity actually electronegativity means ability to attract electrons towards itself. Actually, I think uh, it's better to mention at the beginning, but I didn't do it. I just uh, saw you some values and what are the importance here the definition for the electronegativity is ability to attract electrons toward itself from the bond actually that's why 3.5 when the value is high electronegativity attractability is high that's the nature that's the way so we just mentioned like this sort of arrow okay uh, towards that self and we slightly mentioned delta minus here delta plus here actually delta minus mean delta mean the small value the slightly slight value not fully value it means you know these electrons are uh, it seems like this actually just imagine these are the two electrons and within uh, the because of this electronegativity higher with the oxygen it try to attract these electrons so we can see like these electrons the two electrons are there you know for the bond two electrons is the one we need so oxygen is trying to attract more electrons toward itself 
so that's why but it's not fully electron but slightly electrons are coming that's why we mentioned just delta minus instead of just minus right so one delta minus is coming from this bond other one is from this bond so always one bond to one bond we have to mention the value it doesn't matter how many bonds are there now according to this oxygen uh, you can see there are two bonds you know i have drawn with the some angular shape it's under the shape okay i hope you're not confused with that one h2o we know it's a angular molecule and this is a lone pair there are other things you need to know okay but that's the way we have to um, we need it's the way we need some other things to uh, know these things better right okay All right so it means ne? okay it means without only electronegativity if you know uh, all the only thing you know about the electronegativity uh, with the chemistry so you cannot do chemistry actually you need to know other things about the bonding about the shapes that's why lots of things are there it's okay uh, i will try to upload the, uh, all these things uh, about the bonding and all things somehow this is the thing you need to know the electronegativity values if you are a university student or a level student or i don't know if you are doing some high studies or your beginner level the thing is you need to know about the electronegativity and exact values mainly with the second period you need to familiarize with the second period mainly and hydrogen and uh, halogen halogen downwards you know halogens uh, chlorine bromine iodine those things fluorine chlorine bromine iodine those things you need to know about the value exact value uh, it will uh, allow you to easily count the oxidation number and all the things right okay i think uh, that's all so hope you enjoy the video so if you didn't subscribe my channel you can subscribe that one research in the explains and uh, yes okay this is it so yes uh, yeah so goodbye and see you with the, another uh, essential video for the beginners chemistry